Great question. Um, there is so much power in the pause. Mm. When you take a moment and reflect on what you've just heard and, and maybe have a little bit of awareness of how their words landed with you. I'm, I'm feeling really mad and upset right now. What do they say that makes me feel that way? I'm feeling really attacked right now. What do they say that makes me feel that way? And then pause, reflect on that, like feel that coursing through your body. There's nothing wrong. Like in the, there are no unwritten rules of conversation and argument and, and debate that says you have to immediately respond to everything. Pause, take a moment, reflect, and then if it is something that truly hurt your feelings or is something that landed with you the wrong way, say it and don't say it as you SOB. Like you, I can't believe you just said that you say that landed with me in a really uncomfortable way. What you just said doesn't sit right with me in my heart of hearts. And here's why. And explain that to them. Sometimes people because arguing is an emotional thing, sometimes, sometimes people don't always think about what they say. <laughs> I think that's really clear. And, and we, are so, we are so in this hunting mentality that we are trying to go for the kill shot all the time to where this person all of a sudden says, oh, you know what? You got me. You're right. I totally changed my view now. Does that ever happen? Does that ever happen? No, it does no, not. No, really. No. You just keep on <laughs> so, fighting till, yeah. Exactly. You get hurt feelings. You want to leave. You, you storm out of the room. Yeah. But yeah. if you take a moment and pause and, and reflect and you say, Toby, what you just said made me really uncomfortable. And here's why. Like, here's how I took that. Is that what you mean by that? Is that what you meant to do? you've got to be okay not having to feel like you you yourself have to return the kill shot uh because i think so many of us fire before we aim 